My name is Yuri Deutsch. I'm a photographer. I've been working on different advertising campaigns and produced about six books which carry my name. My name is Katja Krausova. I live in London. We both come from former Czechoslovakia. We are both people who left Czechoslovakia following the Soviet invasion. This was a project I've been working for the last 20 years. We call it Hani Shar, which in Hebrew means what remains. The project started with my father. At this funeral, I met a woman who visited uh, Holocaust survivors. She visited people who didn't have anybody. That sort of prompted me to go with her, photograph as many people as I could. And it lasted till 2005, till I meet, meet Katya. In 2005, I joined a group that was having a reunion. I was very lucky I saw this collection of portraits then I was very moved by them so I walked across this big banqueting hall and I introduced myself I said I was a filmmaker and I would be interested in making a short documentary eventually five months later Yuri and I met in Bratislava I had meanwhile raised the money for a film crew we were going to spend 10 days on the road seeing who could talk and what they could talk about and really by the time we were on day two I was very aware of the fact that we were suddenly doing something that these people had been waiting to tell somebody. Most of them live alone. If they don't tell their story now, the story will die with them. So that is how it all began. This is the first photo I put into exhibition always, and this is the photo I started the whole project. It's a photograph of my father just 14 days before he passed away. The irony of the whole thing is that my father would love me to do this, he asked me to help him on his book, which he wrote, Jewish Communities in Slovakia. I just didn't want to be too much involved in anything of that kind. As I said, irony changed that whole thing at his funeral. Well, altogether, if I photographed about 150 people all over the country. After we photographed survivors, we d realized that that's not enough. As we were traveling through the country, we started, of course, visiting Jewish cemeteries. Some of them are marked in my father's book, and some of them we find by serendipity. This one is one of those. We came to this cemetery, and suddenly this train passed by. When I showed this photograph to a survivor who lives in Prague, he suddenly became very sad, and he says, you know what? This is exactly the same wagon I was taken. And because they were open, I jumped, and that would save my life. We found that almost every medieval castle had a Jewish cemetery attached to it. So the Jews had clearly a very important position in that part of the world for many centuries. Books um, became a center and a, and a kind of icon of uh, this whole project, partly because we never expected it. We were not looking for it. We were in eastern Slovakia, and on our departure, we were approached by a man who said he wanted us to come into his apartments, and we felt very uncomfortable and didn't want to go. You have to sort of imagine, because these blocks of flats and these rattling lifts, but this man, who is a Protestant church warden, had been a neighbor to a man who had keys to the Jewish school which survived in this town untouched. It was never looted. It, it sort of was like time stood still. When we walked into the school between Yuri and the cameraman, they were just mesmerized. Only when I came back to North America and look at the pictures, I realized how important they are. So I immediately called Katya, I said, you know what, we have to go back. And of course it has now become the center of the project. It's like you've tried to do a portrait of a people who you cannot make portrait because they don't exist. But through the books you can uh, show certain emotions. We found some abandoned Torahs uh, awaiting burial in garbage bags and um, Yuri took them out and put them on the gravestones and photographed them there. It's difficult sitting in a, in a studio a long way away from there to describe the light and the feel and the smell of the books and the kind of sense of uh, wanting to know who the people were who read the books. A lot of the books which we photographed, because neither of us speak Hebrew, Yuri would almost instinctively photograph pages of books where an important bit of the Torah 
actually appears. But it was purely so, accidental. Yes, purely accidental. So we coincidentally showed uh, one of these images to Moshe Halbertal. And he said to Yuri, and how did you get that word into the middle of the page? And Yuri said, what word? He was completely puzzled. And that was when Moshe explained to us that the word is so important and so meaningful because indeed it is all that remains. We found a book and it was at the cemetery. So I pick up the book and I just took this book, putting it on a gravestone, left the wind, moved the pages. Since then I learned about the word shin and when I look at this picture I just felt that a wind or somebody was giving us that letter. After we had an exhibition in the um, Slovak National Museum somebody approached us and, and said that he could tell us that there were more books in another place and, and we went there and it's just a suburban house that has been filled to the brim, room after room after room with books. I was pulling books off the shelves. Uh, I noticed that a number of them had stamps, which identified to the owners. And I picked up a book. It had in German and Hungarian, the stamp said, Jacob Deutsch. So I went over to Yuri and I said, I've never asked you this, what was your grandfather's name? Do you know it? Yes, it was Jacob. And where did your grandfather come from? And he said, from Michalovce. And there it was in Hungarian, Michalovce. I never seen my grandfather. I only have one picture of him, and it's a picture at my father's wedding. And my grandfather have a star of David. And that's probably the last time they seen each other because my grandfather sadly ended up in the camps. I never returned. I said, what did your grandfather do? And he said, my grandfather was a tailor. What sort of a tailor? Women's fashions. And I just handed it to him and I said, it's the end of the project. Here is your grandfather's book. 